years. All right, uh, so ransomware is when a company hijacks, when, when uh, a company, hackers hijack the server of a company and then say, okay, and, and basically, uh, let's say, freeze it and, and make it impossible for the company to function because the hackers are controlling the computers. And then they basically say to the company, we'll unfreeze the computer, we'll let you access the computer if you pay us, if you pay us money. Uh, and there have been some big, big cases of uh, ransomware, uh, infrastructure companies in the United States, a number of other companies. A lot of the ransomware that you hear uh, is not, uh, was not, um, a lot of the ransomware uh, you don't hear about, right? Companies negotiate the ransomware, they pay them off, and they try not to make a big deal out of it. They don't want to let the public know they're vulnerable. Uh, they, they, they don't want to let them know they're vulnerable. So, I, I, so a lot of it is, uh, a lot of it is um, undisclosed. It happens often. Anyway, there was this big operation called Black Cat, Alf, Alf V, uh, where they, uh, they were responsible for some of the biggest uh, ransomware cases uh, in the United States, and the U.S. Department of Justice went after them. And about uh, just before Christmas, the, they announced that they had won, that they had been able to disable the Black Hat uh, ransomware network. They, uh, you know, they basically foiled their attempts against hundreds of victims. They seized the dark web uh, sites that Black Hat had been using uh, to, uh, for the extortion. And they basically completely disrupted the Black Cap Ransomware Group and the Justice Department was patting themselves on the shoulder. Of, of, they, they've done it. They've, they've, it's worked. Well, two months and a week uh, after this happened, guess what? Black Cat is back. Uh, new servers, new hacking techniques, new ways of getting around it. And for the last seven days, the Black Cat has held hostage at the medical group a Change Healthcare. It's crippled its software in hospitals and pharmacies across the United States, leading to significant delays in drug prescriptions uh, for an untold number of patients. The, uh, the outage, uh, it, you know, disclosed as a black hat attack uh, by Reuters, represents a particular, you know, a particular horrific uh, episode because of the impact on healthcare and because of the impact on, on, on people's health and because of how long it's already lasted. But more important than that, I think what it indicates is that law enforcement is, is I think, not approaching this in the right way. Uh, it's certainly uh, it, that you can't just disable these people. You can't just take their, you can't just take their, their uh, uh, servers away and, and do stuff, stuff like that and think that you are going to shut them down and eliminate them and they will go away. Behind Black Cat are human beings. These human beings are breaking the law. They're criminals. And unless you put them in jail, they will keep doing what they're doing. It's like you've got a, a bunch of, I don't know, armed robberies. And uh, what you do is you take all the arms away from them and you say, yeah, I want, I stopped them. I've taken their weapons away. And guess what? They go buy new weapons and they're back doing armed robbery. You can't just deal with the tools you have to do with the people. Now, I don't know what's involved in identifying who these people are, who these hackers are, where they reside. I don't know what's involved in trying to get foreign governments to help. Maybe they're in Russia, maybe they're in China. But you'd think there is a way to shut these people down. This is what the government should be doing. I don't know, special ops, whatever. Shut them down. Make the consequences to them so horrific that they will never try it again, right? They're violating the individual rights of Americans. They are criminally active in the United States. There has to be a penalty for that and a penalty to the individuals responsible, not just to the tools that they happen to use. Once somebody attacks the United States, it's not just enough to defend you have to go and get them and, and, and prosecute them or get them, right? How exactly you do that, I'm sure is difficult. I'm sure is complex. 
uh, and particularly in a world in which where there's so many bad actors. Uh, so uh, it it is, um, I you know, but but there's this just proves there's just no way around dealing with the source of the problem, which is the people involved, rather than just it's it's a superficial manifestation uh, manifestation or the particular tools that they happen to be using which can always be changed, updated, uh, and redone.